Kelly Nash here with the ACC Digital Network. And with June 20th being the longest day of the year, we got to thinking, what are some of the longest moments in ACC history? Here they are. So how long has it been since the Clemson men's basketball team has won in Chapel Hill? How about never? The Tar Heels have a ridiculous 56 game home court win streak versus the Tigers. Clemson held an 11 point lead with three minutes left in its February 10th, 2008 matchup in Carolina. But unfortunately, the Tar Heels came back to win that one too. The Miami baseball team has reached the NCAA Division I Baseball Championship, a nation's best, 40 times in a row. Along the way, they have made a whopping 23 College World Series appearances, winning four national championships in 1982, 85, 99, and 2001. The Virginia Tech football team has won 13 true road games in a row, good for a best current streak in the nation. As part of that streak, the Hokies took down Georgia Tech in Atlanta last season, clearing their path to the 2011 ACC Championship game. One week after missing a game-winning field goal in the final seconds, Florida State's Dustin Hopkins booted a career-best 55-yard field goal as time expired to give the Knolls a 16-13 win over Clemson in 2010. It was the third longest for the Seminoles and the longest game-winning field goal in ACC history. Let's take a look at some notable individual accomplishments. The longest streak of field goals made goes to Mark Permonti of NC State, who made 27 straight from 1995 to 1996. How about the Wolfpack's Scott Wood, making an ACC record 66 straight free throws this past season? And Clemson's Rusty Atkins, he had a 41-game hitting streak from 1965 to 66. We close with an ACC, now you know. Georgia Tech begins its 100th year of football in Bobby Dodd Stadium, Grant Field, this fall. That's the longest number of years in the same stadium. The Yellow Jackets began playing in the newly built Grant Field in 1913 as the oldest FBS on-campus stadium in America.